it's time for bedtime stories with <sighs> Sleepy Lucas. Tonight's story is Sleepy Lucas and the Minion. Once upon a time, Sleepy Lucas had a reoccurring anxiety dream that his ass wasn't hairy and manly enough for a grown-ass man. Sleepy Lucas often wondered if he should seek some kind of treatment for the condition, but was afraid to ask anyone about his ass. Secretly, Sleepy Lucas wondered if boofing Propecia might help him grow some hair on his ass, but he never had the courage to try it, especially after being admonished by his fairy wet dream girl rider doll on the Robin Slim show that boofing was something he should never, ever do. Sleepy Lucas even had Ryder's memorable boofing advice cross-stitched above his bed. Not all things in your butt are created equal, the crotch stitch read, or something like that. Nevertheless, Sleepy Lucas kept having the same horrible anxiety dream night after night. In the dream, he was cramming Propecia tablets up his asshole like they were Pez suppositories, only to discover that not only was he not growing hair on his ass, but he was also losing hair on his legs, chest, arms, and head. The nightmare disturbed Sleepy Lucas so much that he was no longer able to sleep alone in his bed. Instead, he had to curl up with his favorite plus minion. You know, the little yellow chick from the movies. Every night in order to drift off to sleep. It was the weirdest one the one with the weird cyclops eye. One morning, Sleepy Lucas awoke from his reoccurring lack of butt hair nightmare to discover that his minion was missing. It was not under his blankets. It was not under his pillow. It was not under his bed. It was not in the urine-filled chamber pot besides his bed that he often accidentally washed his face and hands in when he woke up too early in the morning. His minion was gone. Sleepy Lucas threw back the covers and leaped out of bed. He suddenly felt sick, like he had to take a massive shit. He ran to the bathroom and squatted over the trash can because he had never been able to unclog the toilet after the last time he had combined a three-course Mexican dinner with a side of hot jalapeno chili with beans and a hefty dose of X-Lax chocolate for dessert. No matter how much he sat and waited, clenched, strained, and sweated, Sleepy Lucas was unable to free the giant turd. Suddenly, Sleepy Lucas remembered that old joke. You know the one about dreaming you're eating a giant marshmallow and waking up to discover your pillow is gone? Oh no! Sleepy Lucas shouted. What if me dreaming about boofing Propecia made me shove a minion up my ass in my sleep? In a panic, Sleepy Lucas walked bandit-legged down the street to the proctologist's office. Doc, he shouted, I need you to fetch this thing out of my asshole. What the hell are you talking about, the doctor replied. You want me to shove a copy of Chevy Chase's Fletch up your asshole? No, Doc, cried Sleepy Lucas. I want you to fetch this one-eyed plush minion, you know, the yellow shit from the movie, out of my asshole. I don't know what that means, the doctor replied. What, you think I sit around reading shit from UrbanDictionary.com all day? I can't help you. Go home and take some x lots. <laughs> but what about my minion? Sleepy Lucas whined. I'm not sure I can sleep unless I'm curled up next to him every night. I have nightmares. Here said the doctor, grabbing a two-eyed minion from the shelf beside the examination table. Here's a weird two-eyed minion wearing glasses that I got out of some idiot's asshole the other day. Dumbass thought it was Propecia. So Sleepy Lucas went home and decided to just hope that the 
pressure from his regular large lots of laden mules would eventually push the Cyclops minion out of his butt. That night, he curled up with his new minion and drifted right to sleep. He woke up the next morning with horrible pain in his urethra, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> <laughs>